Today on Performance TV, Kathy and Joe fix some diesel problem, help the environment, drill a hole in a fender, and use a laser on a stool. Welcome to Performance TV. We've got a great show for you this week, and we're going to start it off with the folks from Quick Latch. Great product for the front of your car and easy access to your front bumper cover. Brian is in the house, and we're going to do an install on this Mustang. Brian, why is this product important? Well, this product can be utilized on a, a multitude of applications uh, throughout the vehicle, uh, but the, by far the most popular application has been front bumper quick release. So if you have a vehicle that has had a slight mishap and the bumper alignment is not on point, or if you are constantly doing performance modifications, then uh, having a bumper quick release is desirable. We've already removed the front bumper screws and the inner fender liner clips. Yep, so the next step is there is a small seven millimeter that mounts into the uh, bumper mounting clip, uh, comes in through the top. You just wanna take that out, uh, have a little bit, bit of patience, you can get it out. Uh, within about five minutes or so. What's next? So what's next is you will uh, come to the bumper and gently pull on it until it releases from the mounting clip like so, like that. What do we have to do next? So what's next is we'll remove this plastic mounting clip right here, a couple eight millimeters, pull that out. We'll go modify it and uh, we'll get to the next step. So we gotta fire up the grinder. It's time to grind. The grinder made quick work of that plastic, but why did we do it? What did we do? Okay, the, the reason that we did that is so that the ball pin that mounts to uh, the rectangular OEM hole inside the inner fender will fit through the plastic mounting tab. A lot of guys in their installations are, are discarding this, this clip, but that's not actually necessary because you can modify it and retain its use and still uh, fit the ball pin through it. A little extra stability. Absolutely. So the next step is to mount the ball pin in here in this rectangular area on the inner fender and we'll, we'll do that next step now, like so. After that, what are we doing? Almost time to drill. After that, we'll make an indentation on the front bumper so we know what, where we will be, be drilling and uh, then we'll make our first pilot hole. We've installed the pin, which is gonna help us locate where to drill the hole, but it's not at its final depth. That's correct. So we have a preliminary adjustment after we installed the pin into the uh, OEM rectangular location right here on the inner fender. And we adjusted it right now uh, to the point where when you release the bumper and all the body lines line up, that is, it's co barely contacting the in inner side of the bumper. So that will help us mark it how? So what you're gonna do is you'll lightly press on the bumper until a dimple appears in the bumper, letting you know exactly to where, to, where to drill your pilot hole. Let's do it. There it is. You can see the dimple right there, and that is where we have to drill our pilot hole. We've got the masking tape off, and now it's time for the payoff, Brian. We're gonna put the body in there. This is cool. And we've done some adjusting on the pin, and we're pretty much on the home stretch. I'm gonna get that threaded, uh, nut on the back there and a couple of important things. The depth of the pin is a trial and error process, frankly, depending on the fitting you want. You're gonna have to put it in, take it out, just to make sure it actuates the body of the quick latch perfectly. And that's up to you. Every car is different, as you know. And so it's gonna be a little bit of work, but once you get it in there, as we have, Brian is putting the nut on there, gonna put it in place, and then we're ready to rock and roll. Now, Brian, uh, Typically, someone can do this in their driveway very easily, and as we have seen, it goes by pretty quick. That spring, we're on the finish line. Yeah, so we're gonna do uh, one of our series of test fits right now to see if it responds favorably. So we'll go ahead and get this lined up. And it clip right in. Now, how can you tell? You can tell by the button being flush with the body of the latch. And if the button is flush, you're ready to go. So this bad boy is pretty much done. Almost done, so after you, after you have finalized adjustments, you need to apply a thread locker to all threaded components and then install your spring keeper. The spring keeper keeps the spring on there, keeps retention, and obviously that's very firm and a nice fitment. Yes, nice and solid. Well, there you have it. We're gonna button up the Mustang and get it out on the road just like that. We've got the bumper 
back in place. Brian, thank you very much. And for more Performance TV, stick around. We'll be back after this. A lot of times you have parts that in your restoration you want to use, but you've got a big problem and that is that they're locked up and frozen. Uh, maybe it's a jack like this one right here. Mm -hmm. This one, it's just, man, it will not turn right there at all. It is super rusty too. Look at it. All right, you want to go ahead and put drop, it in? Yeah, we're going to just drop it in a rust and let it do its magic. Maybe that part's a carburetor. Oh, yeah. These valves stick. There's Over here, yeah. You can yep. do with it. Just drop it in. It's going to, evapor rust is going to find what's rusty on this part, mm -hmm. eat the rust. Ooh, look at it already. Yuck. And ignore everything else. Wow. It's not going to hurt those other metals. It's not going to hurt plastic. And we're going to try this. See what, <laughs> see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> with this, this, one, this one's a long shot, but All we're going right. to try it. All right, let's do it. See what happens. Let it sit right. in there for a little bit and we'll come back and we'll check them out. All right, we've let these parts soak for a couple of hours and now we're going to pull them out and see what we can get to move. This carburetor. Here we got parts that are starting to move. Look at that. Yeah. Already. Yeah, it's looking let's good. Let's see what, what we about got. our long shot we had? Well, this part's moving. I'm not sure if it's supposed to move, <laughs> but it is moving. All right. Here we got and we got a little bit of movement move. there. Let's see what we do with our jack. All right. Oh, hey, Look at there. check that out. Look at there. No more problems Getting all the flats. nooks and crannies, making stuff move again. Yep. That is awesome. There we go, like new. Well, you can find Evaporust nationwide and you can go to our website to find a location near you. Performance TV is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Spray 9, one product, nine uses. By Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radios since 1977. Welcome back to Performance TV. You know, we've had the folks in from AP Laser before. Kyle, it's always great nice to, to see you. Back, Kathy. And we're always coming up with new things that we can do yeah. with the AP laser machine. And you found some stuff in your garage that you just had, decided to have some fun with. I had one of my honey-do lists that I was supposed to do my spring cleaning and uh, it's been cold up there in Michigan. So I had a few extra days and I was able to get some stuff out of there. And I was able to find a couple bar stools. So I figured, hey, why not bring them down and put something cool on them? Yeah, because it's not just metal or whatever. I mean, you can use the AP laser machine for all kinds of Pretty materials. Pretty much, you name it. As you've seen, we've done rubber, we've done fabric, we've done metal, wood, plastic you name it. So when you're going to set up something like what we're seeing done here today, we need the computer. Mm -hmm. Are there any requirements for the computer, like space-wise or whatever? No, this is the cool thing. We actually provide you with everything. So you don't have to worry about what requirements the computer needs. We're gonna send the one that you need with the machine. Once you get the machine, it's 110 volts. So you just plug it in, turn on your computer. And in this case, I actually found the file on the internet. I was able to download it and then convert it to a laserable file to put it onto our stool. Well, you talk about the computer and getting everything, but most people are pretty good with computers, mm -hmm. but not every program. Some sure. of them are a little more difficult. What about this one? There's a couple of different programs we use for photo editing uh, called CorelDRAW and PhotoGrave. They do have a generally a little bit of a longer learning curve, a couple months, but the cool thing is we have AP Laser University, 24 seven tech support and a whole staff of graphic designers at our location. So if you run into anything, I guarantee we've seen that problem first and can get you right through it. So. <laughs> okay, yeah, because you know, generally done it, yeah. you, you've done it, yeah. been there, done yeah. that. And if you have it, you'll figure it out exactly. pretty quick. How long did it take to set up the file that we're doing here today? This one took me less than five minutes. This was pretty straightforward. So all I had to do is I found my image I converted it for wood, and then the computer does everything else for me, and then I just save it and then do the rest, and the laser does it, so. What makes the AP laser different than, say, a, another type of laser? So a traditional laser, you're stuck to a box. So if you have, for example, a 40 inch by 24 inch engraving area, that's it. Whereas this one, you can see here, I pulled the entire bottom out, and I'm able to put a three foot stool underneath the laser, which is impossible with anything else. So if, if someone wanted to get into something like this, 
is it is it pretty simple for them to do? It honestly it is. You can either go to our website www.aplaser.com, give us a call, have one of our um, our sales representatives help you out, find out which machine is going to work best for you, and then from there we offer financing. Like I said, the machine itself comes turnkey, so you're getting a one-stop solution. Once it's installed, you're ready to start making money. Well, you know, I noticed that we're doing wood here, but I'm not really smelling a lot. No, we do have the fume extractor going on, but again, you're really not going to get too much because we're just kind of taking away that top layer of wood. Um, some other materials, if I was trying to cut it, it might produce a little bit more smoke, but again, it comes with the extractor. Well, I can't wait to see how this one's done. How, how long does this normally something like this take? This one's only going to take about five or six minutes. Wow. So from start to finish, we're talking about 10 minutes. And it was about five minutes for you to yeah, set it up yeah. and just think about how quick you could move Absolutely. product through. And I could, I could, I could set up multiple stools in there. I do have another one over the side here, but I could have multiple stools in there. I could put the same design on it, the different design. So if I did have a high volume order, I could crank it out much faster than normal. And not just do one mm -hmm, at a time. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is definitely pretty cool. And just like that, we have ding, a ding. finished product. The oven is done, so to speak. So let's see what we have. Wow, check that out. And again, you know, not a lot of smell or anything like that. That's pretty amazing. Right from the laser, right down there. So we could just go on to the next one and have our full uh, full set. Well, you know, we, we mentioned a little bit earlier, but again, we're looking at wood here, but there's all different kinds of materials yes. that you could do with the AP laser. Yes, and like I said, there really is almost any material, as long as it's safe to you and the machine, any size, any weight, and part of the machine when you purchase it is we're going to have a technician come to your location and train you so they can help you out with the little tips and tricks. Like I said before, we have the 24-7 tech support, so we've got your back. Once you buy the equipment from us, we're going to help you out and help you make some money. Well, again, you know, you put the really tall stool in here, but you do have the table that slides underneath if you've got a lot of little small right. pieces that you want to do. The possibilities are just nearly endless with the AP Laser. Find out more about all their line of machines. Just go to their website at aplaser.com and we'll have so much more Performance TV right after this. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. Here on the show, we're all about performance. Better, faster, more efficient. Your car, your business. Tom from Mobile Environmental Solutions is here to tell us about this inflatable spray booth. Yes, Joe, so this is our 23 by 15. It's a cross-flow style spray booth. It has approximately 37 air changes an hour. It's EPA compliant on capture efficiency. It exceeds the OSHA's airflow requirement. And the best part about it is, if you're not painting, you can turn around, you roll it up, put it in the corner. It takes up approximately 600 square feet. It takes a few minutes to set it up, a few minutes to tear it down, and you have yourself a fully functional paint booth. Let's drill down on that. There are a lot of people like to take their business on the road. This enables them to do that. Exactly. You can turn around and fit it rolled up to just a little bit bigger than a, a large sleeping bag, roughly 48 inches to 60 inches in length, roughly 36 to 48 inches in width. And you can take it from shop to shop. You can take it from dealership to dealership. If you're going to a different fab shop to do work, it's completely mobile. It also allows you to comply with new environmental rules as well. Absolutely. And that's the, the main thing is how can we protect our environment? You don't want spray paint in the air, of course, but also it helps you improve the performance of your paint job. If you're doing this, if you've got business, you want to give them the best possible outcome. Exactly. You can imagine efficiency of our spraying outdoors or trying to spray in a makeshift paint booth that doesn't have proper airflow, doesn't have proper lighting. This gives you a clean room to work in environments that may not provide a clean room, which can save you, you know, create efficiency on, on turn around half the sand and buff the, the paint job that you just sprayed. Let's face it, I think everybody can see bounce house technology. We've all seen those on Sundays, but put to a really good use. It's very similar to that. We do use a higher quality vinyl. Everything is made here in the United States. The, the technology is similar to a bounce house as far as the airflow and everything else. It does run off of two, two 110 blowers, but it's a much more profitable bounce house than just being used on the weekends. Exactly. And the fact that the air is exchanged enables the painter in the booth to get a good eye on the paint and of course lay down some nice color. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Now, let's talk about the guy who goes on the road, the mobile part of it. We've already spoken about the environmental part, but hey, maybe you can get some business out there. You go to a car lot, you do several cars on their location. Exactly. You imagine the day of the internet world where everybody wants to buy a car from the internet. They want to look at pictures. Dealers are going to be very competitive to have that used car look as nice as possible. That means taking care of the scratches on the bumpers, taking care of the doors, stuff like that. There's guys that go out there and do mobile. 
and they turn around and they take care of that and they help the dealership out because the dealership has a turn. He has a timeline, he has to get that car sold. So this helps everybody run more efficient. I actually had a customer call me last week and said, hey, what's the most revenue you've seen in one of these booths? And I said, that's something we don't track. He told me he'd done $1.2 million in a little less than nine months out of an inflatable paint booth. Wow, over a million dollars, just under $2 million. That is incredible. All right, we've seen the booth. Let's hear from someone who actually uses it. I do maybe 25 to 30 percent of my business is painting and the other is, is automotive. So when I'm not doing the painting, I can deflate the booth and roll it up out of the way and have more real estate to work. They're, they're user friendly, uh, cost efficient. Uh, where I don't do full-time painting, I don't have to go out and spend sixty to hundred thousand dollars on a permanent booth. I love I love the booth. I actually have one of the booths, and the airflow and the filtration is incredible on these booths. There's no better endorsement than someone who's actually using it. Exactly, and Danny loves it. He speaks very high of it, and we're glad that he's using the Mobile Environmental Solutions paint booth. Now, I love the idea that you also enable. A business to brand themselves so when people see what they're doing they know exactly who to call how to call and how to get in touch with that business it's actually a, a marketing side help absolutely you can turn around and we can custom make any banner any logo you want and fit it right here if your phone number or the company's website whoever's using the booth you generate a little more business so in the end it's mobile it protects the environment it helps you do your job better in a more efficient way. I think you guys have covered all the bases. Absolutely. The idea that people can uh, go out and be an entrepreneur in this world and what'd you say, under $2 million? That was, that was what the one you know, customer said us. And so we're gonna start tracking the revenue, that way we'll have more information. Track that revenue, Tom. For more information, hit the website, check out this spray booth, it is absolutely awesome. And stick around for more Performance TV. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking header bolt. For more info, go to stage8.com. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Z-Max, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system. And by Steel Rubber Products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you have a 12 valve, Cummins Diesel. Boy, let me tell you something. We have really cool stuff today. That's why we have Casey in here with us from Attitude Performance Products. Casey, what is the adjuster? Looks like it's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mechanical chip for the P-pump on your 12 valve, 94 to 98. A mechanical chip. Mechanical chip. No electronics. No electronics. So we're not going to have to have a computer or anything like that? No, no, no. So it's pretty much going to give us the same benefit as doing something electronically? If not more, more horsepower talking zero to 100% fuel functionality out of the P-Pump. Okay, what about, you know, something else, so when we're towing, we get concerned about EGTs. Are we gonna be able to control those a little bit? We're typically seeing about 100 to 200 degrees cooler with the mechanical P-Pump and, and we're able to do all of this with, without having a computer. So what we're looking at, Casey, this, this is the adjuster, what, the piece that we're seeing in red, and then installing inside the truck. Yes, this is the adjuster. It's, it's controlled by the, the cable-driven dial that runs inside the cab. Okay, so if we watch inside, we're able to see. So that's going to control how much throttle we actually have. Right. So here, here's the adjuster. It sits on top of the pump. AFC housing sits on top of here. Okay. With the cable ran into the cab, you got the dial, and off of the dial, off of one rotation, we can get complete rack travel from zero cc's of fuel to whatever maximum fuel output that the pump will put out. So let's say we have something that's like really wild, you know, build up a lot of horsepower. We want to tone it down. We're not racing it that day. We're not towing with it. We yeah. just need to go get groceries. We can change it really quick that's with the adjuster. That's what's so awesome about the adjuster. You can tame it down to just a grocery getter. And then when you hit, get back to the event, you can, tame, you can drive it right back up and, and give it full rack travel. And we're gonna see that we can go wide open throttle yeah. and really kick that yeah. down. Or if you have it adjusted back, yeah. we won't have to worry about that. And I see, Casey, that depending on what people have in mind to do with their 12 valve, you've got some different pieces here to go along with the adjuster. Yeah, the different profiles, though, if, if you got a towing, a towing setup or just, just your daily driver, more extreme performance, you can, you can dial it into exactly what you want. Casey, you guys have found some plastic parts that you've got rid of. Yeah, yeah, we're taking stock, stock parts and, and making performance parts out of them. So inside the stock engine, you got a plastic oil squirter. 
they're prone to fail. You know, here's, here's one as an example. It gets hot, they melt down, you know, the, the spray pattern in there is not delivering the, the proper oil spray to the, to the pistons and the cylinder walls as needed. So we came out with the, uh, the billet aluminum 7075 uh, oil squirters. They're, they're guaranteed not to fail. Yeah, that's just for such a small part to be protecting your motor like that. Right. What about freeze plugs? I mean, you're building all this horsepower and everything. Yeah. You probably don't want the factory freeze plugs. No, yeah, and as we get higher higher performance uh, RPMs in the engine, these are, these are prone to, to, to blow out of the, the block, antifreeze going all over. You know, you don't want to have that. So, so we, we got the Attitude Performance products, billet aluminum. These guys are going to stay in the block, but the life of the engine, the life of the build, and uh, no problems with these. Oh, yeah, and just like the ones you have, the bolt in. Yeah, they got the bolt in. This is for the rear of the block. You don't have to remove the transmission. Really clean. It dresses up the engine, and, and again, it's uh, reliability is, is the main thing. So, Casey, with the adjuster, we're talking about more power, more boost, less smoke, increasing your fuel mileage, extending the pump life, and, and so much more, but that's not where you guys have stopped. Yeah, we don't stop there. We, we go, we, we take stock parts and, 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 and turn them into performance parts. Sure. We got the billet delivery valve holders here. They're a, a .093 borehole. It flows more fuel. Again, it helps with the fuel economy, less stress on the pump, less restrictive. They're, they're awesome. Yeah, and you guys have thought about a lot of other things too. Cheap horsepower. Yep, yeah, yeah, and easy, easy. Yes. You know, this on here, it's a 19 millimeter wrench. You just you take them on and off easy. The, the stock style is a spline style. You have to have a specialty tool. So simplicity, you know, dress up the pump and then, uh, you know, cheap horsepower. Oh my gosh, you guys just have so many different products here. People really need to check out the website for so much more. AttitudePerformanceProducts.com. Find out about how you can adjust the attitude of your 12 valve Cummins. And you know what? That's all the time we have for this week's Performance TV. If you have a product that you would like to see featured on the show, just shoot an email to jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next time for more Performance TV.